dice en español. Si el tren se para ante las estaciones, quédese adentro, no salgo afuera. Beril es en la escuela. Manly, oh. yes, but I like it too. ¿Dónde estás? Sí, cómo no. Mm, peligro. Caliente. Mm, ay, qué lástima. Un teléfono, mire, 12, 12. ¡Ah! ¡Oh, se cala peligro! Would you guys like some more peanuts? Uh, actually, I, th you know, ordinarily I would say yes. But they're fattening. Not so much that they're fattening. Aren't they sort of high in the uh, fat? Yeah. Mm. No, I'm really taking this uh, this whole thing seriously since the uh, the checkup. You know, he, he, you know, he scared me. I've what did he tell you? What did he tell you? Well, he said this, I'm a really good candidate for a massive heart attack. Mm. Wow. wow. Yeah. That's terrible. So, what was your cholesterol level? He said it was a uh, 320. Wow, red alert. 320, and and uh, he said even my hair has fat in it. Wow. I get winded. I get winded when I use a rotary phone. Ow. Well, you know, I've, I've been working out for for years now. Yeah. And I'm I'm uh, I have the body of a uh, like a 46 year old. Yeah. I mean, feel this. Feel feel the stomach here. I, I'd rather not. If no, put your okay. hand. I just assume would not. Put do your that. hand right here. Okay. Not there. Here. Okay, here. Okay. Okay. Let me see. Huh? That's very that's very tight. Look at that. As svelte as a kitten. Look oh, at this. Look at that. How do you do that? How do I do that? I suck it in. Oh, wait, let me try that. Oh, you got nothing there. That's nothing. Oh, that's something. <laughs> <laughs> Julie, you're in great shape. How do you how do you do it? Oh, God, you know, I'm obsessed with it. It's uh, that, That's what I'm in school for. I didn't know that. Yeah, Julie uh, actually wants to... Uh, you want to be a physical therapist? Is that the idea? Yeah. Is that like an aerob aerobics person? No, no. I guess what I want to know is, are you going to put on uh, one of them, uh, you know... Spandex? Yeah. No. Yeah. Mm -mm. So you're like a more like a physical therapist. Yeah. You work with people who have had a stroke or something like that? Yeah. I'll see you soon. Hmm. Uh, Jonathan, you know, all you need to do is 40 minutes a day, four times a week, and, and I don't and have 40 like minutes new. a day, four days a week, to give up to my body, you know, as much as I love it. Hmm. And I'll show you my favorite part. Mm. You know... Hey, you, yeah. hey, hey, crazy idea. Stop me if you think I'm, I'm nuts here. Three days a week. Yeah. You come to my office... Give me a half hour workout. No. The second half hour, I will give you therapy. It's a, 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 an even deal, a trade off. No, I, Jonathan, I don't, I'm not comfortable with that idea. Don't make a decision now. Uh, no, I don't want to do it. I don't want to hear an but, answer now. Uh, no, Jonathan, you see it? Think about it. Okay. What do you think? <laughs> Jonathan. Seriously, right? Jonathan, I, I don't want therapy. But what I, what I would love is if you would teach me to play the guitar. Julie, yeah. I don't know if you know the, the, uh, the degree of the problem here. Show, uh, show her your stomach. No, I was just. Look, go ahead, go ahead, She's going to see my stomach. Show me what enough. you did before with this. Okay. Stick it out. Here you go. Wow! <laughs> Watch out! I'm in my third trimester. Please stop pacing and sit down. Why does he always make me wait? Well, your appointment is not for another two hours, Mr. Attell. Mm-hmm. I'm always wrong. He's always right. All I'm saying is that if you didn't get here so early, you wouldn't have to wait so long. You were here when I arrived. You know, I'm sorry. I forgot who I was talking to. Let's have some quiet time. First of all, let's take a deep breath, Dave. Tell me, let's let's talk a little more about your dad. I, I, I... You know when you're young, you think your dad's Superman, and then you grow up and you realize he's just a regular guy who wears a cape? You think he was an overly protective father? Well, he never let me have fireworks. All I have was sparklers. Sparklers. I think a flashlight is more dangerous than a sparkler. My friends have M80s, bottle rockets, sticks of dynamite. I'm walking around like the special Olympic torch boy. Hey, fellas, how's it going? Ow, ow. Now I'm a moving target. I remember at one time my dad was wearing pants. It must have been Thanksgiving. Yeah. I uh, yeah. have a friend. I went close up with this friend of mine. He's even worse than me. He bought a pair of overalls. He's like, Dave, what goes with this? 
I'm like, I don't know. They're overalls. I guess a banjo. I don't know. I know what doesn't go with it. Jobs and women. Um, doctor, I bought you a figurine. Thanks. It's a Delf elf. Do you go to the movies? No. Do you play sports? Maybe. Do you do you go to the theater? I went to the opera once. Yeah. You know, I'm sitting at the opera and I'm thinking, look how much work it takes to bore me. Hmm. Laura, can you tell uh, Miss Keitlinger that I'm running a little late? Hello? Uh, John, Jonathan. Julie? Yeah? We still on? Yeah, I should Great. be by around three. I don't have to. I don't have to bring anything special, any kind of special equipment. No, I, no, no, no. I'll, I'll bring. A, I'll, I'm going to bring a mat. I'm okay. Bring some free weights. Uh, okay. Some ankle weights. Some wrist weights. Okay. And bring stuff for me too, because uh, this is for you. Oh, okay. This is for you. And what about clothes? I brought. Uh, I brought a few options. Okay. Tell tell me what you got. I have. Uh, well, I have tights, black tights. Okay. And a tank top. And I brought sweatpants. Good. You and a sweatshirt and some uh, I brought actually some sweat just in case we don't get to do the to do the uh, the hard stuff. What do you think it happens? Well, I think it's because I make the same you know I I make the same mistake 3 and 4 times with men and it just seems to me at this point what I should do is start putting post-its on men's heads that say, do not sleep with this guy again, and then maybe a sentence, one line as to why I shouldn't, like, uh, don't sleep with him again, R.E. Mommy. You have to, uh, you have to keep trying. You have to give yourself a little push, even if you're afraid, you know? I can't, I can't go on a date, because it's it just, it's always a disaster. I, I don't know why it is, but whenever I'm dressed up, to meet someone if we go to a nice restaurant without fail I walk out of the bathroom with a little piece of toilet paper still stuck to my tongue there's a lot of crazy people on the street mm -hmm. I'm walking down the street and I see this guy and he's just screaming he's running down the block he's screaming he's like ants ants they're all over me ants 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 he gets to the curb he looks both ways Ants. The only time you notice these guys is when they do something normal, you know? Mm. I'd love to follow this guy, like, on his day. Ants. Ants. One for Legends of the Fall. Ants. Ants. Can you supersize this? So then I see this other guy, this one crazy guy. Mm -hmm. He's just laughing at an empty juice container. He's just laughing at it. And he sees me looking at him, so he goes, jealous? And you know something? I was a little jealous. What is the secret, crazy? Let's try some push-ups. Okay, push-ups, I have to tell you, are not my strength. Okay. Do you want to do my, them on your knees? Would that be better? Uh, I think that's girl style. Well, it can be boy style, I too. would rather do 10 boys' push-ups than, than 20 girls' push-ups. Okay. Well, then let's do feeling. 10. Maybe that's just... So let's do 10 boys' push-ups. Okay, 10 push I think I can do. All right. Now, make sure you have to squeeze your glutes. Okay. Now. Oh, don't touch me there. A little higher. Well, no. See, I'm trying to. I'm just trying to keep your hips down. So let's push this okay. down. Push it down. Three down. Go on. Oh, okay. Push it down. down. Okay. Good. Can I stop for a second? No. This is okay. Four. Julie, I'm bleeding. Okay. Where? I'm bleeding internally. Oh, oh God. I You're shouldn't... not serious about this. No, I, told I, you. I. I'm serious. Let's. I think that we have to figure out what my capabilities are. Like maybe I'm not ready to do. I used to do in high school. I used to be able to do 50 push-ups mm -hmm. over a period of a couple of weeks, but I would do them. Now I can't really, I can't <laughs> produce those kind of numbers. So let's let's figure out what you th what you think I'm capable of, and every every session, we'll we'll raise that by one. Jonathan, I really think that you're capable of maybe not 10. Okay, maybe not maybe not 10. Let's start with a series of five on each of these things that you're trying to do. Okay. Well, now will you push that thing down again for me? Yes. That that helps a lot. Yeah. All right. Okay. And then pull it up. 
But you can cut your losses. There are certain things you can do now. That's why why I've decided to exercise. And well, I've never exercised. I mean, I well, I don't like the looks of it. You're young still, you know. Right, but you know, I'm I'm uh, I'm bigger than you. You know, I mean, in a in a in a fat way, I'm a bigger man than yeah, you, well, and you're also, not. Uh, well, that's, 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 you're not that big. You don't. You actually look fit. Yeah, but you're also an athlete, Ben. I mean, what well, did you what did you win that that uh, at camp that you won that buoyancy thing there? That was. No, you know what I'm talking about, Camp Yomi? Yes, uh, yes, it was a uh, first, I mean, first place in, in floating. Right. So in the pool, uh, it was a jo- it was a joke though. It was a it was a joke award. They were making fun of me. Well, but still, you you are. But the, I kept it. You are the athlete in the family. I mean, a lot of a lot of that a lot of what you a see is time. big is 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 musculature and also that you have some baby fat on you still. And what's so not baby will, fat? You will shed that as as you get older. Oh, damn, I'm 24 years old. Yeah. Well, look, you know, you you could get on this program with me. You could you could join, and all you'd have to do is get up off the couch. I've lost you already, huh? I just fell asleep for a second. I'm sorry. You have to get up off the couch, yeah. and say, "I, Benjamin Daniel Katz, love myself and will treat my body with the respect that it deserves every day the rest of my life." Can you do that? I can't. I, you know, I can't push myself like that. I mean, I do love me. I'm just asking you to take a vow. I'm not asking you to do any exercise. Oh, okay. Would we'll you do, do that, that for sure. me? Sure. I... Would you stand up and say that? Well, n- well, you know, Dad. Please, Ben. No, well, don't don't press me, Dad. Don't press like that. Well, I... Don't press on me. You're all over me. <laughs> you're a shapely man yourself, Dad, in a way. I mean, you're a little heavy around the hip area. You've, a, you've a... I'm built to bear children. Doctor, prostate cancer. Did the CIA start that? Prostate cancer? Yes. It came from somewhere. I don't know. It seems like it's a recent phenomenon. With Bill Bixby. Bill Bixby wasn't wasn't a real CIA guy. No, he was a magician. I know that. Oh, he did he die of prostate cancer? He did. You know, supposedly they say that that your chances of surviving prostate cancer are just as good if you don't operate. Mm. Hey, do you want to go to a party later? Wow, you are a downer. I might be a manic depressive, but you've got some issues yourself, doctor. I mean, really, you know, you got to wake up, smell yourself, and really say it. It seems like whenever I'm at my lowest point, Mm -hmm. I have to run into somebody who's at their highest point. And uh, this happened to me a week after I got fired. This guy I went to school with, hadn't seen him in 100 years, bumps into me on the street. And he says, hey, Laura, how's it going? And I'm just shocked, first trying to think of who he is. And he says, wow, (laughs) I've had the most incredible streak. You know, I was a production assistant on a film. Now I own the film company, and I'm starring in the features we produce. Isn't that incredible? (laughs) I really made it. Yeah. So what have you been up to? And I said, well, uh, geez, despite the accident, I'm still able to hold the ball in my hand and grip it tightly and then slowly release it. Well, listen, I should scoot. I've just soiled myself while we were talking, and I've got an interview at McDonald's in five minutes. Could you carry me there? You know, know, this is something we didn't talk about. Is the kind of guitar you want to play? Like, what kind of music are you drawn to? I was like those women that played the guitar and sang, you know, like Joni Mitchell and mm. people like that. I well, this is a Joni was... Mitchell style strum here. Just try that, just for starters. How are you doing that? Like this. Should I be holding my fingers up on the this part? Yep. Try it. Let's, let's start with something simpler. See, yeah, <clears throat> my fingers are hurting from that. She'll be coming round the mountain when she comes. She'll be coming. No, don't try to play it. Okay. Just watch what I'm doing. Okay. She'll be coming round the mountain when she comes. Now go. Just try that. Toot, toot. No. Toot, toot. Choo choo! She'll be coming round the mountain when she comes. Choo choo! 
She'll be coming round the mountains. She'll be coming round the mountains. And this is the way the jazzy guys would do it. She'll be coming round the mountains when she when she comes around them. Yeah, yeah, yeah. She'll come around the mountains. Get your endorphins going. You know what I'm saying? And once the endorphins get going, it, it up, uh, it, you get more of the serotonin. Stanley, are you forgetting that when you make stuff up that I know what you're doing? No, I'm not making this up. You're telling me you don't know about en endorphins leading to increased serotonin? Serotonin went to school with my sister. No, wait. No, this is true. This is true. Yeah. You, you get your, your heart level up uh, above, uh, I don't know, 90 or 95 for you. Endorphins start pumping out. Serotonin will drip right off you. You know what I'm saying? Sounds messy. It's messy. Then you take a nice shower. You get into the uh, locker room, take yourself a nice shower, and then you're out of there. You know what I would be inclined to do is to take a shower when I get home, just in terms of... Oh, the sweat will dry on you. You don't want that. Yeah, but you know what? It'll I, clog I feel your, weird your... taking a shower in, in a room full of strange men. Why? Well, what if they make fun of my body? Why would they do that? There's nothing wrong with your body. Thank you. Not a lot. I mean, if they do, look, I'll tell them that uh, you were in an accident. Tell them, tell them I was in some kind of uh, frailty competition. Huh. Mr. Frail. The Frailty Olympics? Yeah, say something like that, just so that they think that, that, that I was going for this look. I don't think they're going to buy that, but the accident they'll go for. Tell them I'm, I'm a marathon runner, except for my belly. Hmm. Anyway, last week, uh, my father... Uh, went to the doctors, and he uh, got a report back that he has a, a congenital heart defect. Really? You know, I'm concerned about him, but the pr the real problem is that I, I probably have it. Because it's congenital. Right. I'll explain that to you later. Right. The, what congenital means. But So what's the bad news? Well, the thing is, is that there's a good chance, and uh, I'm not being overdramatic, there's a good chance that, that I, I, will, I, I will die uh, at some point. So, because of that, I'm thinking I better live life to the fullest. Yeah. Before uh, the the heart goes. Right. So I thought that maybe uh, you could think about next Thursday night if that's good for you. I I can get tickets to uh, to nonsense because I really want to mm. see that before I die. It's their nuns and they sing, uh, and there's a lot of improv. Oh, yeah. I met this Irish guy. Uh, mm -hmm. He was a lot older than me, and he was always telling me stories, proverbs, you know, to prove that he was brilliant, I guess. Mm -hmm. And I'd start to complain about my life, and he'd say, Ugh, lurk. You always complain about how bad your life is. Why don't you change it? You know, you're the order of your own fate. And I thought, God, he's right. I am the otter of my own fat. Mm -hmm. Yeah, you know, I could go. I could go at any time. I could go. I could go now. I could go tomorrow, or I could go. You know, twenty, thirty years from now. You never know. You never know. Well, I guess I'll just have to take my chances. Uh, what does that mean? She'll be coming round the mountains. She'll be coming round the mountains when she comes. Choo choo. Now let's. You know, let's stop here today, and I'll tell you why. Because so much of playing the guitar. As just being around people who play it well. You know what I'm saying? No. Like, watch this. You know how long it, it looks simple, right? Yeah. You know how long it took me to learn how to do that? No. Four years. I did that instead of instead of graduate school. See, I always just I like the way people's fingers just move. You yeah. know, like that. Uh, See that that comes so hard. That comes with work. You have to develop the strength in your left hand. Yeah. The coordination of the right hand. Yeah. And oddly enough, a lot of it comes from the buttocks. This is the best kept secret of contemporary <laughs> music. And this is something I learned in college. I had a vocal coach who told me that in order to produce a sound from a diaphragm, you should practice by putting a quarter between the cheeks of your buttocks <laughs> and holding it there. Come on. And this guy would make change, Julie. God. You hear what I'm saying to you? Yes. 
I wrote a song about you last night, Julie, in anticipation of your arrival. You did? Yep. Mm, let's hear it. Julie. That's all I got so far. <laughs> Doctor, can I just ramble for a minute? Absolutely. Do you always have to control the session? Do you f feel like that's what I'm what I'm doing here? Doctor, make me feel small. I'm not trying to to, to diminish you in any way. Doctor, hottest thing on skates? No, that's not true. Doctor David Tell, let's have a laugh with him like they did in high school and junior high school and then junior high school again. Dave, Dave, would you calm down? Doctor, please? I know this it is... all because I can read. I first of all, I was in the Foot Locker. No, I was not trying to get a job there because I, I remember what you said last time. They can't hire me. The state will not permit them to do that. Right. I was just, what is it, browsing around, mm -hmm. and I see all these little tiny shoes. They're baby shoes. And now they've got baby work boots. Did you know that? Work boots for babies. And I'm thinking, doctor, no, wait. I'm thinking, I've never seen a baby on a construction site. Mm. I might be a gentle giant. I might be an eight-foot man with the brain of a two-year-old, but baby shoe right, baby boot wrong. I'm sorry, you know what the music means. Good. Nine. Okay, keep breathing. <coughs> Jonathan. Ten. Good. Oh, good. Oh, Great. Man, that is... Good job. I tell you, I'm feeling it already. I feel the difference. Yeah. Give me a shot in the stomach. Give me give me no. your best shot. Come on. No. I can take it. Just do it. Just give me hit me with you your best. You don't want me to do that. Yes. I, you Just really give want me? me? Yeah. All right. Okay. Nine one one. Just tell Lord to call nine one one. Jonathan, are you all right? I'll kill you. <laughs> I will kill you. <laughs> Thank you.